Our world-class facilities are designed to handle the largest and heaviest slings, anchors, anchor chains or wire rope reels that the industry can produce. All our equipment are made for the sole purpose of meeting our customers' stringent requirements. To prepare for the fabrication of the McDermott 18-inch slings, a team briefing on quality control processes is conducted. This is followed by the preparation and quality control checks on all equipment to be drawn. This procedure is in line with the quality control plan that is developed by the engineering department. The wires to be used must have quality control confirmation and verification with the wire rope mill certificates. The spool machine is then set up to measure and cut the 4.5 inch ropes into three sets. To fabricate the first Flemish eye, the steel ferrule is first inserted. The end rope is then manually separated and clamped to form the first eye. The steel ferrule is then positioned in place and the T-bar is applied to check the eye dimension for a third time. The completed Flemish eye is then moved outdoors for swaging. The steel ferrule is mounted onto the mold and swaged for the first time. After swaging, the steel ferrule has to be quality checked to ensure correct dimensions. The mold is then changed and the steel ferrule is swaged for a second time. The after swage dimensions are to be rechecked for quality again. To form the second Flemish eye, the lay length is marked as per quality control process requirement. It must then be quality checked to ensure appropriate body length. On the first end, the second layer is formed. The ropes are twisted together to form the second twist. It must again be quality checked before being swaged. The first end of the Flemish eye is stacked on top of each other and the component ropes are secured on the first end. The second length of the component rope is then secured and quality checked to ensure correct body length. Component ropes are first laid out side by side. The body length of the ropes are checked after the first twist. And the component ropes are secured on the second end with brackets mounted. A fireproof blanket, together with clamps welded on the component ropes, will be applied on both ends. The wire rope will be weaved to secure the finished Flemish eyes for the 18-inch rope. The finished rope is then labeled and is ready to be transported for testing. Finally, the wire ropes are set up for testing to ensure conformance to the industry standards. An ABS independent inspector must always be on site during this quality testing process. We ensure that the safety of our personnel remains a priority and every safety aspect of the company is implemented. As our fabrication process requires manpower to be working in close proximity to mobile equipment, we commit ourselves to the strictest compliance with all applicable laws and relevant industry standards of practice concerning the protection of health and safety for our employees in the workplace.